gorgeous. Welcome to your Monday edition of News Ish right here on MTV Base. What a great way to kickstart your week. I mean, come on, such freshness on your TV screens. My man, I've got the hottest stories. We're going to be talking about King Swati. Cardi B is also on the headlines. Samgel Okaele, Springboks, and Mandela Day. We got to do something really exciting. Right now, the show is about to start. So sit back, relax, and turn up the volume. Let's get it started. <laughs> We're gonna kick it off with our first stories. The kings of the games, or King Swati, um, is gonna get married to Zuma's daughter. And let me tell you something. When the kings and the queens are getting married, it's not a joke. I mean, there's gonna be a two million rand lobola that's gonna be there. Also, the Zuma family wants a hundred kettles, so it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a big wedding. You know, if I was married to royalty, my lobola would probably be like five million, and I would want like. 300, you know, kettle just to make it work. But otherwise, congratulations. I hope that family combination and, you know, intonation is going to be a great one. A lot of money I see there. In other news, Cardi B is coming through on Twitter telling people where to get off. Let me tell you something. If you're going to be on Twitter and you don't have a big following or any kind of influence, like, don't speak to celebrities because they're going to come for you. This bro from Kenya was coming to you on Twitter saying, yeah, Cardi B, probably they cheated on her. What kind of aura does she have? And Cardi B was like, yo, you better sit down. Let me put you on your place. Cardi B came through with guns blazing, telling homeboy Guti he smells like a wolf and all of that shenanigans. So if you are on Twitter and you want to say something about celebrities, say to your friends, please don't tweet it because celebrities are going to come for you. Okay? Moving on to greater stories, Samuel Okele is set to play for the NBA and joining the New York Knicks, which is going to be super amazing. A young boy in his 20s from Cape Town, already in the NBA and killing it, boy. You know, it is possible. You can be from a small castle and you can make Make it in the big league. I mean, come on, stand under Rock Nation playing for the New York Knicks NBA at the age of 26 or 25. Uh, homeboy, congratulations, man. You're joining the Sia Khaleesi Rock Nation family. You see, Imzant is taking over the world. And speaking of Sia Khaleesi, this past weekend we were playing against e Portugal. I'm a spring box. And let me tell you one thing we are world champions. So, a big shout out to Portugal for trying out, you know, trying to beat us and play with us because we are the bookers, Baba. We're always gonna come through. We're always gonna put you down. So a big shout out to the bookers for winning last weekend's match. You guys are doing amazing. I mean, what more could I say? A big shout out to Portugal for also trying. And if you didn't know, last week was Mandela month, well, Mandela day, and we're still celebrating Mandela month. And we got to do our 67 minutes. And New Jersey, my Josie was like, yo, we also want to clean the city. We want to make it amazing, we want to make it beautiful, and this is what we got to do. What is goody, Bass fam, and happy Nelson Mandela Day. We are celebrating the way that we all should be by doing our 67 minutes. We're here with Josie, my Josie, who have teamed up with a whole lot of corporates, and we're cleaning up the city of Johannesburg. Yep, we're going right into the center, and we're cleaning up our city, just showing a little bit of our service to our community. We are here to clean Hebrew and we are doing operation cleaning Jose my Jose. We are loving Jose, we are cleaning Jose, we are doing operation Shanyela. We are coming together just to take power back to say we want our city uh, to be clean again, the streets to be clean, and it starts with us as the people who are working within the city. So we're hoping the community will also follow suit when we start also cleaning up. So it's just our 67 minutes to say we enough is enough with the deaths that we're seeing on the streets. I would say Nelson Mandela has taught me independence and also believing in myself. For instance, like we know how dangerous uh, Joe Beck is, but he then decided to come along and clean it. I, I, the first lesson that I saw from him is that he's the person who is actually not uh, for himself, but he is for the community. He is for his nation. Uh, I learned love from him. Operation Shanyela! Thank you, Josie, my Josie, for putting in the 67 minutes and cleaning our streets of Johannesburg. We appreciate you. I was still tired this weekend from doing my 67 minutes. It started at 67 minutes, and then it went to two hours. From two hours, went to three hours. From three hours, went to four hours. So I was resting this weekend. I hope your weekend was also delicious. It's a brand new week. It's time to put in the work and keep on rocking. It's almost end of the year. What are you doing? What are you up to? Hit us up on social media. Until next time, keep it fresh and keep it training. I'm out of here. Bye.